Okay, it's Sunday the 22nd of May, just a very quick update. My vermiculite, perlite, hydrogen, sphagnum moss and what's that called? Uh, cell mediums have turned up so I can get this bed up and running. I've already got some sphagnum moss in there. Uh, very quick look here, bok choy, uh, sorry the wong bok has come up, puk choy over there has come up. Uh, nothing quite coming up over in that back corner there, although most of the uh, peas are coming up as you can see. Nice little one there. Uh, the turnips have all come up there as well, nicely inoculated. Everything's running perfect. Topped this one up as well and took some lemna out. This is a lemna only um, tank with some silver perch, doing well. Silver perch in here are ravenous. Did some harvesting of strawberries and uh, lifted them up just a little bit because I was getting some dry rot. So I just pulled them up a little bit higher out of the, uh, out of the stone and that'll hopefully alleviate any fungal issues. Uh, this bed here, single concrete plant in there, nothing really is coming up here at all. Lettuces are getting a little bit bigger. This lettuce is slowly dying off and I'll be able to harvest the seed from that. As you can see the Ford hook silver feet has come up well as has this bed as well. They're doing very very well. I now have some seedlings coming up, some carrots, no not carrots, what am I talking about? Onions. And quite a few over here as well. Alright, so that's the overview. in the process of getting the next IBC completed. This is the one where I've actually got it sitting in the top bay and it comes up to about there. But I'm just going through and galvanizing all the joins and cuts and stuff that I've made which is bugger all. Oh, better do these beds too timer is off at the moment but you can see there's some um, new life and there. Um, the other thing too when you come to harvest anything in the garden I always make sure that I leave a portion of it in there for example this one here I've taken those other ones out and just set them out on top just so that the worms can move out Same as that one. You can see the worms. Having a wonderful time. So just leave that sit on the surface and let it dry out. When it's dried out, we've had a little bit of rain today, so I won't do these, but when it's dried out, you just push the any remaining stones that are out, that are in there, push them out. Nothing else left. No, worms have had a pretty good chew at that, so psh, off it goes. Mulch in that terrible soil of mine. Okay, we've got some cauliflowers coming up here and a rogue, rogue lettuce, but that's fine. I can easily transplant him later on. We have carrots beginning to come up, so at least one there. And another one there, there's a few more starting to come up around the place there as well. And my carp beds, they're coming up nicely as well. There we go, very short five minute update on Paul's aquaponics. Any questions or anything, post a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hooroo!